Hi, welcome. This is a mission editor tutorial for Hound. Uh, in this video, I'll try and show how to integrate Hound into an existing mission. I will try to keep this video as short as possible because the integration itself is fairly simple. However, uh, this video will contain three, four parts, sorry. The first part will be a basic setup just plain easy second part will be a demo of that configuration on the third part we'll go back to the mission editor and add some more functionality and on the fourth segment we'll show it off uh, you can use the uh, progress bar of the video and jump to wherever you find more interesting uh, and uh, as i've said i'll try to keep this video video concise and to the point and not blab too much so without further ado let's start uh, i've set up a basic template using uh, the mariana map just because it came out yesterday and i decided to play around with it uh, we have a couple of uh, radars spread around some of the islands We've got a couple of uh, early warning, got SA-11, SA-2, and an SA-15 down here. In order to start working with Hound, we'll start by including it. I'll do most of the things as it's shown in the readme, just you know, to keep it simple. We'll start by just adding uh, one's trigger, we'll call it Hound, uh, and I usually use time more of a few seconds but because we only have hound we'll do one second and we need to include for the basic setup that is nothing fancy we'll just need to include uh mist which sits here and win against ed because they introduced a new bug, which is fine. I mean, not fine, just fun because reasons. And we'll include our hound itself. And this will usually be a custom script or something. I'll just slap it here and we'll just do script. And this is the initial setup we are going to use. Now, uh, first of all, we need to create the instance and I'll throw in the system on here and we'll put a little bit in between. Now, Hound uses one or more assets assigned to the system in order to triangulate radar positions. So I'll set up two in advance and we'll call them Elint1 and Elint2. Now note that this is the unit name, not the group name. And we'll set those up in a sec. So for a fairly ba uh, for the very basic setup, this is all we need. We'll save this and let's start by adding our platforms. Let's try, let's add a C17. I'm not very concerned about, you know, naming right now except for the line name so let's add it throw it up high so it'll have the best line of sight 0.72 i don't know let's keep it like this and we're gonna put two platforms uh the reason we're gonna put two and we're going to put them in a particular way. I'll show you in a second. Uh, what we need to do is set up a racetrack so it will run. So let's orbit racetrack 420, 35, stop condition. We'll set duration of two hours. Give us enough time. And we need to change the name to in and to one. It's just be uh consecutive about it and add it to the 
the group name. Now I'll put a second one and the reason I'm going to put it up here is because we want an angle between uh, the platforms. We want to be able to use both as baselines for triangulation. Now the platforms should be as close as you can to the radar. However, it should be also outside of threats behind the cap line outside of SAM threats and all that jazz. Uh, the reason I'm putting them in different bits of the orbit is for this one to reach here. This one will be here. So they'll keep around 90 degrees between them at all times, which will help with accuracy. Uh, this is what 70 ish miles from the radar. So we have those two. This should be in two. Oops. And in two. And this is it. Let's fly and see what we see. So I'll just. I uh, just had Game Master on so we can have a look at what's going on. Uh, we get a notification that Hound is on and the system is operating as in started working. And we already see first uh, markers on the map. Now this um, setup is, use, is very useful if you want a human controller without any... Um, advanced system stuff just markers on a map and that's it uh now the system will uh, currently because we're in game master you see all where the radars are it works on every map mode you can turn everything off fly with map only and the markers will show you where the system thinks the radar is as you can see right now it thinks this radar is on the sea which means that it's not cheating, so to speak. Now, system acquisition time in this configuration should be about two minutes till the position uh, zeroes in on where the radar is. So I'll just time skip ahead. And as you can see, the markers will jump around a little bit. Now, accuracy is uh, affected by both the platform and the radar it tries to locate. Uh, lower frequency radars will have lower accuracy and uh, pla certain platforms will have better accuracy. The C-17 is, is one of the best, is the best accuracy platform for the Blue Coalition. And as you can see, we have a marker. It says it's a snowdrift. Let's stop time acceleration so it won't jump. Uh, we get which radar is tracked. And the numbers here represent the ellipse of uncertainty, where the system thinks the radar is. So it thinks it's within a diameter of about 400 meters uh, from the marker itself. And because we know where the radar is, we can actually measure it. And it's a lot less, I think. It's two point whatever. It's within the same golf course but as you can see it jumps around so that's pretty fairly normal as you can see it got pretty close but it's because of the frequency of the radar the area of uncertainty is fairly large now the keen eyes of you seen that there is an sa15 here which isn't tracked because it's off I won't turn it on right now. We'll do it in the advanced part. And this is Hound working. Again, basic setup. So let's go back to the mission editor and add some functionality. So next up is to activate the controller and the uh, automatic information system. For that, we'll need a few more includes. So first of all, we'll need another file which is the uh simple text -to speech from uh siri bob from srs so this is added now because we added this one we'll need to update the path 
for the installation of uh, SRS. So I'll just copy paste it from the site. Just standard SRS config thing. And we'll change the, conf the, the a little bit here. Let's pretend for a second that this is the mission script starting here. And we want to dynamically add units. So these will be either spawned or whatever. Up to you. However, a hound must be created with an existing uh, coalition. So we'll just do a little hack in, the f in future patches of fix it. But for now, let's just add, initialize it with uh, another elint unit. We'll uh, set it up in a bit and we'll have it to be a static, elint static. So we set up SRS, we set up a hound turn on the system. Let's activate the Addis. And activate again, everything is pretty much existing in the in the documentation. I'm just copying it over. So enable Addis and enable controller, but because we want also to display text, which by the way uh, can totally be without the SRS, you can activate it with control with text and not include the the simple text to speech and it will just be text only. We won't try and broadca broadcast anything. So we have this one done. Now we need to add our static. I'll just mm, pick like a mountain here. And we'll have uh, a blue ground unit and it should be, uh, is it here the comms tower? I can't remember. Oh, oh wait, it's not a ground unit, it's static. What am I doing? Yep, static. And this one should be structure and where is the comm tower in C probably yep comm tower and we said we'll call it event static and we'll give it the same name just to be in case so it will now initialize on the comms tower and once initialized on the comms tower, it will add the two platforms we already have. So we have this, we just added like three lines of code and let's fly the mission. And again, we'll go with the game master. And straight off the bat, you should be able to see that the system now initializes just the same. We get, we will get in a second, the exact same. There they are, the markings. But if you look carefully, we now get a new threat detected warning on the radar system picked up. It will only uh, alert on Ra uh, SAM sites. It won't alar uh, alert on, uh, you know, early warnings. So let's turn on our radio. Now in the background, we already have, wait, hold on. What happened to my SRS? Yes, it disconnected, good. Let's connect external good and the com frequency is 250.5 check did you have alpha and we have our automated information service in our information bravo 0801 local flat face 11 
Active at Charlie Sierra 55, accuracy medium. Snow Drift 5, active at Charlie Sierra 57, accuracy high. Two EWRs are tracked. You have Bravo. And we'll just go on and on in a loop. Hound Sam information Bravo 0801 local. Flat face 11, active at Charlie Sierra 55, accuracy medium. Snow Drift 5, active at Charlie. And you got the idea. Now, the other uh, option we have is the controller. For example, we have our SA11. If we open the F10 menu, you should see SA11 and it has it detected the snow drift. And if we request data, we'll get both text and a calm message. Snow drift 5, active at bullseye 029er for 111, accuracy very high. Position north, 15 degrees, 6 minutes, 58 seconds, east, 145 degrees, 42 minutes, 28 seconds. I repeat north, 15 degrees, 6 minutes, 58 seconds, east, 145 degrees, 42 minutes, 28 seconds. MGRS 55 Papa Charlie Sierra 611715. Elevation 100 feet MSL, ellipse 950 meters by 900 meters, aligned bearing 349er, first scene 0801 local, last scene 3 seconds ago. And this message is VR friendly, that's why the uh, coordinates are read twice, so you won't have to write it down. And once the message read is over, the text message goes away. Now, remember that SA15 I talked about earlier? Let's turn it on just for fun. And see what happens. Now, as you can see, it will now fire up. The radar sitting in the clearing somewhere in the middle of the island. And the system should detect it within a minute. And... Uh, of course, it'll take another two or, or to get the position right. But as soon as the system detects it, it will alert us of a new threat. Now we just have to wait. <laughs> Let's try and speed it up and hope not to miss it. There it is. Break. Break. New threat detected. Tour 1. Bullseye 029er for 93. Grid 55 Papa Charlie Sierra is now alive. That's it. That's all message. And just for fun, where's the bullseye? What was it? 029 for a 93. Something like that. It's fairly accurate. It just it just measures the distance from the bullseye as is. And that's about it. That's everything to know about Hound. There are a lot of additional um, settings you can, of course, change and modify and do whatever. And they're all listed in the README. So I hope this video helped uh to some of you and um uh, if you have any questions where i'm always available on i'm available <laughs> at the discord server and on the ed forums so good luck and happy hunting